Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 5. I'm Jessica Cartalia. This past weekend was the first full weekend back open for a lot of small businesses in Delaware. And some owners are happy to have their doors unlocked, while others are left to wonder if it's worth it. Dan Koob is in Wilmington with what's fueling the difference in opinion. Hi, Dan. Hi, Jessica. That's right. Some of the owners we spoke to were absolutely thrilled just to be able to unlock their front door. But as you mentioned, some of the other owners are finding a rougher time of it. Craig Skills never imagined lineups in his barbershop so soon. The owner of Fat Cuts in Wilmington, shocked but happy the state allowed his shop and other small businesses to open Friday as long as they adhere to strict social distancing policies after more than two months of their clippers being closed. It's still going to take easily six months or maybe next year this time to really see uh, an improvement of where I was in January. The policy is not cutting it for others. I can't do curb service on something like this. Leonard Simon owns Wright and Simons, a niche custom suit staple of 84 years. But amidst a pandemic, no one is dabbling in double-breasted blazers. It doesn't make much of a difference. No one's coming out. Um, it's more for show than anything else. Representing the divide amongst local business owners, Simon says the government should trust individual businesses and individual consumers to shop responsibly. Give us a chance to do it. Uh, it's a lot safer in a place like this than it would be in, a, in Costco or Home Depot, that's for sure. Skills is more accepting of a more patient approach. As long as we're able to do something and going forward, that's good for me. You know, I'm no, I want it to boom, but we can't boom right now. So we just got to take uh, step by step. Now, in terms of viability, both businesses say they are OK. But like any other business, the longer the economy is shut down, Jess, the harder this becomes. Live in Wilmington, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, Dan, thank you.